We're approaching the old Deca channel and it crosses the Great Exuma Bank and it's marked with these pylons. And we're gonna now head east and point up wind. everything close hauled we made the turn around the marker for Deca Point we're going directly east uh, but the wind is oh, it's so close so we're just pinching it we're like as close hauled as we've probably ever gotten this boat it's hard with this boat we have a big Genoa and I don't think big Genoas fly up wind very well uh, if we had like a smaller working jib we could sheet it in I think much tighter it's also like overpowered I think for the amount of wind we have and the size. What's really, I know it sounds dumb, but what's really killing us is the waves. Like, if, if it was calmer, we could make a bit more progress, but every time we hit a big set, the boat just like stalls out and the sails stall and stop making power. We kind of like lose our headway. But when we get into a calm set, we're actually doing pretty good. We're doing like five knots through the water. We have 15, 16 knots apparent wind. But we got a, uh, a king mackerel. Just landed it. We're like a couple hours away from our anchorage. Look at that. Pretty good size. Yeah. It'll make for a nice dinner tonight. Good dinner. I'm excited. And it's not a barracuda. Yeah. All right. Galley time. We're anchored. We're at Great Guana Key. Yep. And on the way, we caught a Spanish mackerel. This is a Spanish mackerel it's on marinade. Got lemon, garlic, and spices. Really and excited. Some onion. And we fish tacos. This is what we've been looking forward to. For a while, I've been really wanting um, to catch a fish. I'm having fish tonight! Oh, wow. Oh, that's bomb diggity. Oh, oh. What? Oh, it's a big butterfly. Look at it, it's huge. Oh my God. Holy shit, Holy... that's a moth. Oh my God. Look at the size of that thing. You are huge. You're a monster. Okay, Ma. Um... Can lightly suggest? The giant flying critter eventually flew out, but most surprising was discovering Darren's fear of moths. So we are in Great Guana Cay, and we are going to check out the town. Check out the town. It's the closest thing I have to like a race motor. Brings me back to my go-karting days. Two cycle. Smell that oil. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Feels so good to walk on land again. Not that it's been forever, but the last couple days on the boat have been really rolling. So we haven't had any reprieve. This is awesome. Get a bandit. Get some wheels! 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 <laughs> what is it? It's a fruit. I don't know what it is. It's maybe like potentially a lime. Citrus. I think I chose one that's too young. Got a hole. It's super deep. You can't really see, but it probably goes down like 20, 30 feet. Dang. Just like right off the side of the road. No big deal. Just a big crevasse. Just kidding. Not a path. 
Going back up. Well, we explored to the end of this road. Yeah. Now we're gonna go back to the town and enjoy some cold beverages yes. and some local food, which would be the first time we've eaten out in like a couple weeks. Yeah. So it'll be a nice treat. So got like a mile and a half walk back to town and yeah. some R&R. &R. Yeah. Right, here we are, a little place called Emeralds. This is freaking beautiful. It just like overlooks the bay here. And we're treating ourselves to a little dinner. We just had a few drinks at this little place called Scorpio's Rum Punch in Bahamas. <laughs> relatively fast because there's like this little storm cloud front thing coming. So yeah, might be a wet dinghy ride home. Pretty sure it will be. That's fine. Oh, hell yeah. This is so freaking good. I think it's just better because we don't have to do dishes and we didn't cook. And her conch burger. Oh. And we got this plate of fries. Oh my god, that plate of fries. Super good. We're back at the dinghy dock. Gonna get in our dinghy. We have like a couple miles to, uh, to blast off to sailing vessel Panda. And we're gonna cozy up tonight, I think, with some popcorn and a movie. Yeah. And just relax. Sounds really nice. Yeah, it got like really cold. There's kind of this cold front that's coming through. So it'll be nice to uh, warm up a little bit. Hell yeah. And there's Rocco. Sir Rocco. We're here. We made it. It was an uh, uneventful passage, really. And we passed this beautiful Maggie on. You know, we're going to ask him for some champagne and shrimp, but. I figure our view is uh, the same. The same. Yeah, we pay for the same view, right? Is that what this is? So, in an attempt to upload some YouTube videos, we have an episode done. We need to upload it. Cell phone signal is really like sporadic, I think, because we're just too far outside of town. So, I have uh, our ghettoized, sailorized Wi Fi hotspot. So I have my cell phone in a bag with a battery charger and I set it to Wi-Fi hotspot. I'm going to send it to the top of the mast because I think it gets pretty good reception up there. And then we can use other phones and devices here with that Wi-Fi hotspot. So let's raise this up and see if it says connected, no internet. No. Maybe the theory didn't work. Well, I'll leave it up there a few hours. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> so I left the, the episode that we're uploading as like, it's like two gigabytes. So we'll wait like an hour and we'll see how it did. It has to be better. It has to be better than down here. You think, right? Yeah. yeah. Sadly, the great internet experiment did not work but the episode loaded after two and a half days. 
so we decided to get out and go for a hike near our anchorage instead. We just landed on the beach today because we needed to take a break from the rockiness of this anchorage. But it's a gorgeous day out now and we plan to walk on this side of the island, the south side. And here we go. Yeah, it was so rolly last night. I woke up from my dream at like 2 in the morning and felt seasick. And I just don't even get seasick. So that's how terrible it was. But it calmed down a little bit this morning, so it's just nice to be on land, walk around and explore. <laughs> What a ragged and rugged coastline. One thing I find interesting in the Bahamas is like how many of these kind of pine trees there are. And you walk around, it almost feels like being home in like Lake Tahoe where you just get this like really kind of dense pine. And then even the sound of the wind in the trees Sounds just like being a Tahoe. Pretty cool. What do you think, Panda? I love the sound. It's so pretty. Yeah. And calming. the sheets untied. Bad sailor. Shame. What's your clearance, Clarence? Oh, the steering's backwards. Oh. You got to turn around. Really? The ancient mushroom. Simba. <laughs> Some land walking. Steve. Land walking. <laughs>